Welcome back to the pain train, guys. Today we are out here. We're gonna take some shots in the dough, but we have some brush in the way. We're gonna see if it's an ethical shot to take, see how much it affects the arrows. Let's get it. All right, guys, before we begin, I think it's important to note, I am using the recurve today. So we're gonna have much slower arrow speeds than you would out of a compound. Uh, the arrows are also built significantly different. These are 650 grain arrows, so they might punch through brush a little bit better than if you were to use a compound or a crossbow on this. We can test that at a later date. I just felt it was important to note that. All right, so I had to fluff the uh, brush pile up a little bit because I wanna guarantee that we're, we're hitting branches on the way through. And obviously, as you can see, this is really close. It's touching the deer, so Keep that in mind. I'm shooting from 10 yards right now. Let's see how it goes. First one wasn't necessarily the best shot, but we did hit branches and we punched through no problem. Definitely hit branches on that. It's a little more where I like it, right in the crease of the shoulder there. That was a way high. And it looks like we did get some deflection off of that because we hit a branch that was further back. And as a result, that top arrow is, uh, is canted up. So that, that definitely shot us up a little bit. So my shot might not have been high, but we definitely had some deflection going on there. We're gonna take it back 20 yards and see what happens. As we can see with this group back at 20 yards, we didn't have any deflections, we didn't have anything crazy happen. I'm not sure if that's because of something to do with kinetic energy or whatever the deal is, uh, but that's, that's pretty cool. The shot on the left, I just, I pulled real bad. So ignore my, my bad traditional archery shooting. For the final test, we have stacked the brush up and we are now three to four feet away from the deer. I think this is probably a more practical test to see if you could use it in a hunting scenario. Let's find out. All right, three arrow group, 10 yards. Let's see how we do. Ooh. We got a crazy ricochet. As we can see here, guys, both of these arrows are a little, a little canted. So the branches up front definitely had some sort of effect. And especially with, with a recurve, you need all of that kinetic energy. And once your, your arrows start getting wonky like that, you lose a lot of that. So I, I'm probably not taking that shot, but we can get to that later. In conclusion, guys, I'm not taking that shot. We had a couple that, that ricocheted and skipped, uh, especially when the brush is, is further away from the deer, you have a lot more room for, for error. So I'm not taking the shot. If it was up close and maybe it's just some leaves, some really thin stuff on the deer, like it's touching the deer, uh, maybe. But once again, I'm, I'm a big believer if you just wait long enough and you don't rush stuff, it ends up paying off. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. Paint Train Outdoors, baby. All aboard.